Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. One of the best shows of 2016 hootie, hootie. is back. Congratulations, <laughs> Amira. Underground set the world on fire, broke all the WGN records, and you're a heck of an actress on it. So oh, congratulations. Thank you so much. Where are we seeing the crew grow this season? Oh man, it's gonna. We're bringing the fire, man. We had to, you know, up the ante for season two. Our fans are so just. They're just so invested, and they've been waiting so long. So we were like, okay, we got to give them a killer season two, and it's it's gonna be a killer. <laughs> <laughs> Literally speaking, I remember when I first heard about the show, and this is a topic, the Underground Railroad, that hasn't been touched on on television, and you guys, I mean, you tackle it no holds barred. What's it meant to you to see the reaction, both critically and commercially, that the show's received? You know, we feel so supported, and that's really exciting. Live tweeting every Wednesday, which we, it's really us, not a representative. It's really <laughs> been great. You know, we have so much fun with all the fans. And it's just, it's so important because it's a series form. So we get to kind of go into all these different narratives. That's what makes it so amazing. You don't have to like crunch in the Underground Railroad and the history of America in two hours, you know? Yep. So that's really what makes it a thrill because you can go on the Harriet Tubman journey, you know, which is How cool is that to have her this season, by oh, the yeah. way? Aisha Aisha's Hines, amazing. Thank you. I, I mean, I'm thanking you for her. No, she's great. <laughs> she is great, though. And then, but then you get to find the personal stories like myself and myself being a mother of, you know, Rosalie and, and my two boys. And so you really kind of get the whole spectrum. When you get to be part of a project that is so relevant for what's happening culturally right now, what does that mean to you as an artist? It It's really... You know, as an artist, it's such a responsibility because we have this platform. So to be a part of something that you know is is kind of uplifting, talking about American history, finally shining light on, you know, the gifts of what it is to overcome such a struggle, you know, to build up the African community and the legacy of what we contributed to building this society. But then as a nation, how we all came together, the actual true story of what it was for us to come together is really victorious and something to be glorified, I think, yearly. I think we should always be talking about it. I was talking to Aldis recently when he had hidden figures and he was out promoting it. And to see what this has done for your career, his career journey, I mean, it's 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 been a breakout for all of you guys. Talk to me about that breakout and that moment you're having. It's it's exciting. There's, there's no way around it. It's a gift to me. You know, the fact that Misha and Joe looked at this little theater girl, you know, and said, you know, we believe in her. We believe that we're going to give her this platform and that she can do it. And that I'm just so grateful to really be able to tell this story. I come from the theater background, you know, and, um, you know, we honor the script. And these scripts are amazing. So I feel right at home. I'm like, yeah, you gave me a sacred script. I'm all about it. <laughs> It, you know to get the fan response you've got what have been some of the cool moments you've had with fans I think you know they, they first of all the memes how That's we great. live tweet I'm like how do y'all find these <laughs> memes so quickly like they just like have it right there at their disposal and that's really that's really fun but also there's the fact that people see themselves in Miss Ernestine there's so many people who are just like oh my god you remind me of my mom myself my auntie the families are watching it together and um, you know so whether you're talking about a fun moment where she's kind of trying to make the best for her children and you know lighten it up for her youngest James or an an intense moment when we're like this season we're dealing with you know domestic violence you know and thoughts of suicide and suicide prevention and I get to use this platform to talk about that. You're doing PSAs I was going to actually bring yes. that up how incredible is that to be able to actually in real life have an activism moment like that. It's that's what it's about like I mean I I'm, I'm, I love saying you know you, there, there are resources like the National Coalition for Against Domestic Violence dot org. I, I was going there for a lot of my information. You know, one eight hundred seven nine nine help is what you call if you're in need. I mean that you know this. You, we're humans at at you know no matter what year it is, no matter what century it is, and it's a human story. And so the fact that I get to experience something that might help someone else is really a gift as an artist to do what I love, make it entertaining, but deal with issues that people can say, hey, I, you know what? If maybe if she can go through it, I can go through it. You know, maybe if you know this is the story of overcoming, I can overcome. One of the things when we think about slavery, we don't think about from a female perspective, strong, what, what women had to go through, because we think of this subservient culture, but your show shows 
strong female characters despite all the obstacles that they have to go through. Yeah. How exciting is that to show that on television? It's 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 exciting and more than exciting, it's necessary because it's just telling a truthful story. And I feel like that's why so many people have clung on to it. Uh, and that, that's not a shock to us because they're just seeing truth. You know, when you, maybe because we haven't been represented that way and, you know, on screen yet, and now we're seeing more of that. I think that's been what's, that's the revolution. But the revolution isn't in the fact of these women because these women have always been there. We've always been a part of the movement for change. We've always been courageous and strong. And we've always been a dynamic leader of keeping families together and on the forefront of change. So it's just great to see that, you know, that networks and writers are, you know, well, the, I think the writing has been there too, but networks are saying, you know what, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna put them right in the front and, and see if it sells. And it sells, honey. <laughs> I remember I was telling you your EP Mike Jackson. I grew up with him. I've known Mike for 20 years. Mike, shout out to you by the way. Yeah, shout a great, out to Mike. What a year he's had with La La Land too. But I remember when he was posting pictures on Facebook about being at the White House and screening for President Obama. How ridiculous is the moment when you're as an actress, a girl from Far Rockaway, and you're at the White House, and you're like, the president is watching my show. What's going through your head? <laughs> Yes. Is that what's I'm like, that's exactly. I just, you, know, you, like, you just summed it. it up right there. I love that you know I'm from Far Rockaway. I mean, that journey is is one where I'm like, I love to remember where you got to remember where you came from. Shout out to Jersey. Shout out to Far Rockaway. I mean, honestly, because it lets other people know that, it, you know, the, the dream starts within you. It starts with belief in you. And then if you have a good support system, you know, you find yourself here and it's just like, I was it was an it was an awe. I mean, it's it was just great hanging out with Mike, you know, being friends with Mike Jackson, you know, and then you're sitting there in the White House. It's it's a it's really an extraordinary moment when you think about what you're doing and being able to do the work that I do that I love, that I've always been passionate about and then have the doors open in a way that uh the career just being able to blossom and it doesn't happen for everyone we know this you know this hustle is a hard one it's hard your, <laughs> your business is hard i just had yeah. marin ireland in here who's an accomplished broadway actress also having her moment she's on a hit show sneaky pete and we're talking about it. i'm like yes. she's like i've been doing this for 15 years and it's just happening now it's right. crazy yeah, definitely. I mean, we're on we're in New York City right now, and I've like walked these streets with my book bag, like freezing my butt off, you know, like with the change of clothes for the commercial audition, and then to the theater audition, and then getting the you know the TV audition, and it's just great because you remember. And every time I'm home, I mean, I still live here, and I that's one of the reasons why I love it because you know you get on that New York City subway, that train, and you just it's that that grind mode will will always be in New York, and you have to you have to keep pushing, you have to keep it's work constant work every day. You never get to sit back. You know, but why would you want to sit back? You know, boring, boring. We'd mentioned Aisha Hines joining the show. You have another little known musician who also is the executive oh, yeah. producer, John Legend. This yeah, guy, that guys guy. have probably never heard of him. He's also <laughs> now becoming cast on the show. He's going to play Frederick Douglass. Oh, yeah. He's, he's about to blow your mind. Like, he's so extraordinary. I hate when people are as talented as him. Like, God, it bothers no. me. It's like, how can God put that much talent in into one, one human? <laughs> like, and not give me that talent. Give it to me. <laughs> no, yeah. John has a lot of it. He, oh, he's no he was like at the front of the line or so or maybe he's at the bottom just sucking it all yeah, up i don't he know got what it all songwriting <laughs> singing acting god right how cool is and he's like him? a good guy it's like really john come on at least I'm be a perfect a, husband right. like john it's right gotta be like a serial killer or something <laughs> something's wrong with you to see him actually involve himself not just behind the camera but in front it's got to be so cool it is it's a it's a real thrill i mean he's he's such a great artist i've always been such a huge fan of his music and then to get to know him as an ep you know uh, he's so passionate about the project he's really like and that contemporary music does so much for the show like just thr music just really is a pushing it in show, you're oh right. it totally is you know so that's that's really great and like laura cartman and rafael sadiq do the com the co they do the composition and um, that's a great team. Like, they're, they're award-winning folks as well. So, really, the whole music team. We got, like, a music, the A-list music squad over here, you know? And uh, that makes it really, it's just another character. And it's a driving force. And it's always been a unifier. You know, music, everyone's like, you know, you just think about going to concerts and you look around and there's people from all walks of life kind of singing along together. And I think that's a great thing for our show to remind people, yeah, this is everyone's story. Congratulations on everything.